there are three ways to make biofuel or biodiesel uh, for diesel engines. The most common method of making uh, biodiesel is by uh, heating up vegetable oil or waste vegetable oil to 120 degrees Fahrenheit and then combining an alcohol such as ethyl or methyl alcohol with lye and then combining that mixture into the uh, vegetable oil and then agitating it for a few minutes while the lye and methanol react with the vegetable oil. Now the problem with that is that 20% uh, by volume of that reaction has to be methanol which in the United States is more expensive than gasoline. Uh, the other problem with that method is that 20% of that reaction is rejected in the form of glycerin. And unless you have a market for your glycerin, it ends up being a waste product. And in most cases, people who make biodiesel end up throwing away that glycerin. Oftentimes they pour it down the sewer, and that causes a lot of trouble for the sewer company. The other thing is, is that alcohol, the boiling point for alcohol, is about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. If the uh, oil in, is not, if the temperature of the oil is not controlled closely, and the temperature is allowed to, to go over 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and the person who's making that biodiesel happens to be using a sparking hand drill to uh, agitate that uh, reaction, then it's possible that the alcohol in that reaction that's evaporating off from the reaction could explode and cause severe burns to the, to the operator and set, set the house or building on fire, and which could ultimately set the whole neighborhood on fire. And that, in fact, has happened. Uh, I do not rec therefore, I do not recommend the biodiesel process for backyard enthusiasts. It's something that is way too caustic and way too explosive for end users to use and really should only be uh, operated by uh, professional and licensed operators uh, that, are, uh, that are scrutinized by the, the public to make sure that their operation is safe. And that, uh, and that operation, since it's explosive and corrosive, should be uh, conducted uh, far away from residential houses. Okay, so then there's a second way to make uh, or to burn vegetable oil in a diesel engine. And that second method is the second most common method, and it's called straight vegetable oil. Now, straight vegetable oil, what it does is it heats the vegetable oil up to uh, about a, a close to 100 C, or about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And what that does is it thins the vegetable oil out so it ap uh, approaches the, the viscosity of diesel fuel. And then it burns more efficiently in the engine. Now the problem with that method is that most, in most cases, people who spend several thousand dollars U.S. in modifying their automobiles to burn straight vegetable oil. And so I really don't recommend that unless you're a big time backyard tinker. To me, the simplest method of burning uh, vegetable oil as a diesel fuel in a diesel engine is the method I employ, which is the third method. And the third method is called blending. And what blending is, is that it simply blends a solvent, such as gasoline or petrol, with vegetable oil in a ratio that, that causes the resulting uh, solution to approximate the viscosity of, ga of, of diesel fuel. And if one is successful in doing that, then that uh, solution will burn efficiently in the engine, it won't coke up your injectors, and, uh, and the engine will start on cold mornings, uh, speaking of which biodiesel uh, tends to solidify it at freezing point. So most people who live in areas where the temperature drops below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero C generally have to uh, add either gasoline or diesel fuel to their biodiesel to keep it from freezing in the wintertime. Okay, whereas if you add vegetable oil to gasoline, 
uh, you don't have to worry about it freezing uh, down to oh, probably uh, minus 20 or minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, C um, or minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit it happens to be the same temperature. Uh, and of course that's, it depends on how much gasoline you add. Now the, the blending ratios I've found that I have found are successful is uh, a diesel engine can operate fine uh, with about 10% gasoline in solution with vegetable oil and no diesel fuel is required. And that'll run just fine on a diesel engine in warm weather. And warm weather is over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. When the temperature drops below 80 degrees Fahrenheit, then I recommend maybe 15% uh, uh, gasoline added to vegetable oil or petrol. Uh, and then when the temperature uh, approaches freezing or 32 degrees or zero, uh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero C, then it's best to add uh, gasoline or petrol to vegetable oil at 20% um, of the solution. And that will allow that solution to remain liquid down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit or roughly uh, uh, minus uh, 10 C. Uh, and then one can continue to add uh, uh, gasoline to vegetable oil uh, to 30 percent or even 40 or 50 percent uh, and a lot of people uh, are um, you know terrified at the idea of adding gasoline up to 50 percent in a diesel engine but remember vegetable oil has a lot more uh, um, lubricity than diesel fuel has uh, the Manuals uh, for uh, diesel automobiles sold in uh, the United Kingdom during the 80s all said that you could add up to 30% gasoline to diesel fuel to keep it from freezing in the wintertime. Well, if, if that's true, then we know we can at least put 30% gasoline in with vegetable oil in the wintertime. And there are people who have found that you can go up to as high as 50% to, uh, uh, gasoline to vegetable oil to keep it liquid down to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit or C. Okay, friends, thank you very much.